In this demonstration, we're going to create our first XML document. In our scenario, we work for a music CD wholesaler that wants to provide their available titles and the necessary information related to those titles to potential purchasers at the wholesale level. So our XML file will contain the information about music CDs available from this wholesaler, including retail price and cost to the retailer. To write an XML document, we need no special tools. In this example, I'm using Notepad++, which is a freely available, easy to use editor that has settings for the treatment of several different languages. In our case, we selected XML. And by doing so, the editor understands how to color highlight certain text that is special to our XML documents, such as our tags. So this can be very useful for us. And again, it's simple to use and absolutely free. But it does no validation of our XML. So for example, if we forget our closing tag for our root element, then we get no notice from Notepad++ that our XML is invalid. That is, it will not process properly and it will generate an error because the closing tag is missing. So although you can use a simple editor to create XML, when we create complex XML documents, we need a tool that will help us as the developer of that XML document do our jobs better. So for this demonstration, we're going to use XML Copy Editor, which is an absolutely free tool to download and use that provides validation for our XML and is specifically designed to help us write XML. To download this tool, simply do an internet search for XML Copy Editor and download it from a verified source such as Source forge.com. Then install the editor. The installation process takes just a couple minutes and you'll have a tool that will increase your productivity as an XML developer. So we're going to recreate our XML document that we created in Notepad++ using XML copy editor. When you open a new document in XML Copy Editor, it provides the declaration line for us. So now we just need to add our entities. And the first entity we're going to add is the catalog entity, which is our root entity. And I'm doing that by using the insert element tool and I type in the name of the element and hit enter, and I get the opening and closing tag. I'm going to space down, and now I'm going to enter our child element, which is CD, and hit enter. Then I'm going to provide some white space so that I can insert my next element, which is title. And I'm going to continue to do this for all of the elements in our XML. Having all of our child elements now of the CD element, we're ready to duplicate this CD element for the other entities that we're going to include in this XML document. So I'm going to select them all. I'm going to say copy, and I'm going to paste this into the document. So now I have my three CD elements that are part of my catalog as a wholesale distributor of CDs. I can go through now and enter the data within each of the 
child elements or leaf elements in the CD element in order to recreate our XML document as it exists here in Notepad++. So now that I've recreated our XML file and populated it with our data, I can validate this document and I do that by going to the XML menu and clicking on check well formedness or just pressing the F2 key and I should get a message that says that the document is well formed. Now recalling that white space has no meaning to the XML language, but reflects a good practice for us as XML developers, I'm going to format this XML using an external XML formatter. And I found this formatter by doing a simple internet search for XML formatter. I'm going to paste my XML and then I'm going to define how I want the indentation to be presented to me. Do I want two spaces? Do I want compact mode? Do I want tab delimited? Well, I'm going to stick with the default three spaces and I'm going to format the XML. Then I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, come back to my file, and paste it into my tool, my XML copy editor tool. And notice now that we have an indentation for each level of element within the XML document. And this makes the document visually easier to read for the human but again, has absolutely no relevance for a computer that might be reading this document that we sent from our company server.